So do you have anything to show me of the of, of course, what we are doing? Of course, I came prepared for this. I have a series of images here. Oh, this is what I want. Which to see. is a kind of artistic impression of what the stage design will look like. The stage design for the show is a grand piano surrounded by screens for film and graphics. What will the audience see, though? And has Robin finalized his plan for the murder of the piano? And will he use graffiti? Just if you could imagine even placing a piano down there. I will only do it if we do simultaneous performance. <laughs> Nothing's been decided yet, but the project's got a name, pictures reframed and plans for a world tour are being made. The technical crew and the artists are having a meeting in London. Life Uva's manager has a crucial role here, and she well remembers their first encounter. Uh, he was very charming even then, and he was very eloquent, and, um, but he came with his Norwegian agent. He was quite shy, um, charming, yeah, and we talked about his future engagements, and there weren't very many of them at that time. One, Without two, any completed three. images, Life Over and Robin have only Mussorgsky's music to go on. How well does Robin know it? I mean, you have actually never heard me play it completely alone, right? On the stage, so... Why don't you just have a seat and I'll just play the promenade at the beginning or something. A few things. Don't applaud between the movements, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good atmosphere, but something isn't right. Does Robin really know the whole work? But this promenade, you know, where he is always, um, where he's always walking. I mean, I. I mean, that that comes again a few times, you know, in the piece. How many, times, how many times? How many times is it? The prominent comes comes five times. And then what's really interesting so I just, is I need five. No, okay, it comes in five times. Yeah. Then you have the um, two juice. And after this comes the last promenade, which sounds very much like the first again. Last time it comes. I'm not someone that attends concerts regularly, so I'm not quite sure. It's a very uh, it's unfamiliar territory for me. And the promenade animation. Status report. Robin's working on seven of the ten pictures, <gasps> one for each of Mazorksky's piano pictures. Yeah, right. Should just be enough, right? The time has come to try out the awesome dream Robin's had from the beginning. It's going okay. to be no easy matter. But it's, there is only one opportunity to fill the whole thing with water, right? Yes. I mean, we're not talking, we, yes. we don't get several chances here. Yes. Right. Yeah. But I think there's <laughs> no one take two. No. Have some tea. Life Over has found the much. perfect place near his home for Robin's stunt. I really um, am anxious to, to, to see how you like this place. I mean, I think it's such a spectacular setting. Well, from the photographs that I've seen, it's, uh, I think it'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can confuse sometimes with the pace of certain pieces. Over a cup of tea, the two good friends finally have a clear plan for how they're going to murder a piano. Details of the crime have been agreed. Hey, well done, well done. Yeah. <laughs> Take it, piano. Jeez. That's a great picture. An old dry dock. My darling, my love. Built <laughs> just before pictures was composed. Oh, wonderful to see you. This is the scene of the crime. Okay, okay, okay. Get it onto the plate. Small landing. The workers eat their lunch outside today. In the last hour of the Grand Piano's life, Life Uber repays them for the use of the dock.
exciting. Jeg kunne godt tilbake lunsjen flere ganger på denne båten. Det er også helt uvanlige omgivelser da. Både for han og for oss. Jeg kommer til å huske lenge. When I hear Liv Uwe performing the piece, it brings you much closer to the actual composition. Focusing on the image he's going to make, with the rain coming in over Bergen, Robin sets up several cameras to film the grand piano's demise. Behind the concrete gate, the weight of water presses in from the fjord. You can zoom in. Okay. Keep it for some minutes. Keep it for... I like to have the camera not... I don't want to cut between zooms. We are attempting to draw on the piano in this dock, and we are trying to pay homage to Mussorgsky's pictures in an exhibition, especially the final composition being the gates of Kiev. Um, and our gates are these, the water gates of the dock, as they open and allow the water to enter the dock. So it very much links to the drama of Mussorgsky's pictures in an exhibition. Camera's fine. We're good to go. Yeah, let's go to the, let's go to the bridge. Wow! Yeah, we've already done them down. Oh, you've done that, right? No, it's just a short thing. It's coming a lot more dramatic than I expected. Um, a lot more powerful and a lot more fast. Um, I had no idea how beautiful it would look because I love the contrast between the foam of the of the water. And the black thing is an amazing contrast. It's very dramatic to drown his beloved instrument, isn't it? At a certain point in our life, we have to, you know, give off that which is precious to us. Because I believe that the water itself has this, it embodies both life and death and violence and beauty. There it goes, swallowed by the sea, captured on film. An important image for Leif Ulver and Robin, who are now on a high. In April, they meet up again. Robin has been working around the clock for a month. I've been doing nothing else but working on pictures reframed with such enthusiasm. <laughs> I haven't slept, I haven't, like, Slip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't want to mention the other yeah, things. Yeah, the other things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything's been about editing film footage and animation to accompany Life Over's piano playing with visual stories. He can't wait to see what Robin's done. Watch this, watch this shot. Wow. Watch this, also watch very carefully what happens here. Oh, Done. Great, great. Done. That, that needs to be that timing. Timing becomes the crucial word over the next few days. They're at a magnificent castle in Bavaria, Germany. They can collect their thoughts and be 100% focused at this remote location where nothing and no one can disturb them. Here, they embark on the final stage of the project. <laughs> the team now extended to include technicians. Irvan and Tony rig the first screen to show the footage. The Bavarian nature's breathtaking, yeah, yeah. but the yeah, yeah. hall is smaller than the one awaiting yeah. them in Risa in June. In Risa, the screen will be much bigger and will have all the canvases all over it, so that's the first step. Robin has brought samples of the stage design, which he's just finished graphic prints he wants to yeah. position above, below, and around life over. <laughs> I'm not fully prepared at all. Um, and I think that at this stage, a lot depends on the technical aspect of the project. 
how does the film align with Lev Uwe performing live? I think that's really going to be difficult. Too slow. The atmosphere is electric as everyone awaits this first performance of Pictures Reframed. You need it once more? It's now or never. The result of all once the highs more. and lows are about to be shown. I was um, thrown into the deep end in this project, uh, you know, to create the visual component for pictures. That was really thrown into the, the deep end of the ocean without a life jacket. And I thought, you know, wait a minute, Levu is coming with me, you know? <laughs> We're gonna swim this together. So it was important that, that he also went through a, a, a unfamiliar process. And for, for him to change too, and to also, for him to also begin to realize that the creative spirit can take us on unfamiliar journeys. Cheers. Cheers. Good. Bravo. 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 B